Uh, my name is Philip Salzman. I'm the managing director of the Duke of Gordon Hotel. And the Duke of Gordon is a very traditional Highland Scottish hotel. Um, it's 65 rooms, it's got a number of function suites, uh, it caters for the local community and it caters from tourists travelling from all over the UK and coming in from uh, Europe, America and beyond. Uh, the reasons for installing the biomass system uh, is basically twofold. It's economic and it's our impression on the carbon footprint. Um, from an, an economic point of view, uh, the actual installation of the system does have a fairly serious impact uh, and it does generate somewhere in the region to the benefit of £20,000. It actually has a, a double knock-on uh, with the government's new system of renewable heating incentives. Uh, there are benefits to be had which are probably to the tune of £20,000. So, uh, it, it has a, a great commercial impact and the figures tell us that we're actually saving somewhere in the region of 500 tonnes of, uh, of carbon emissions. Um, so it's, it's economic and it's a uh, touch of conscience, uh, but it does do the hotel an awful lot of good and we do feel that the, the biomass system has become the backbone of our green policy. With, we initially thought that the biomass system would be a totally different system to our existing gas system. Fortunately, we've had very, very little supervision, necessary supervision, uh, that's caused us any issues. And any minor, small issues we've had with the change of system, uh, that's been very well supported by Highland Wood Energy that's given us the advice we need as and when we've needed it. They've been on call. Um, and the thing is actually connected up to a modem, which gives them instant access at any time that can cure any problems off-site or identify the problems off-site, but the bottom line is we've, we've found a system, whilst we thought it was going to be some issues, we've actually found that it's, it's worked absolutely first class. That maintenance is fairly basic and straightforward. We check the, the actual ash bins weekly and the machine is, is just visually checked over weekly. Uh, but other than that, the maintenance is in actual fact about zero. The only physical uh, input we have is where uh, it's the actual delivery of the fuel, um, which involves uh, a minor part of labour just to supervise the delivery, but there's nothing that creates any issues on any aspects of the maintenance. From the very initial concept of putting in biomass, uh, our insight to bi a biomass system was absolutely zero. Uh, we contacted and spoke to Highland Wood Energy. They gave us all the insight. Uh, they educated us. They, they put it all into perspective for us. Uh, and there was never really a time where we, they weren't available for us to contact uh, and, and get whatever reassurance or whatever detail or information we needed. And it wasn't just the directors or, or the upper echelons. Uh, it was all the chaps, the fitters that came out, they were all absolutely first class, very personable people, very helpful. I would have absolutely no reservations, whilst I did have reservations to start with, I would have no reservations. And in hindsight, we couldn't have gone in any, any other direction and it run more smoothly. In this day and age, biomass uh, or, or uh, alternative fuel energy uh, is the only way forward. We've currently got gas, oil, um, and if we use any, any of those systems, those systems are both inevitably going to go up in price. Using biomass, it does allow you to uh, uh, adopt uh, a, a good green policy, um, and it also does actually have a serious economic impact on your pocket.